fact, this is that letter that I sent to you. Before we get to the letter on the screen, no, that's okay. This is from Beverly Shannon, or she, Sharon Beverly from, from Hartford. She sent this letter out. Hartford has graduation coming up, like a lot of people already have, and this is graduation. This is from last week. Bottom line of this, Hartford, of course, is moving and wants to basically kill a lot of their athletic sports. And budget and money has a lot to do with it. They just made the great run to get to the tournament a year and a half ago with our friend John Gallagher. And then soon after that, we found out that the president had never basically said a word to Coach Gallagher. And, and some in the, on that campus don't even want athletics to occur and or at least Division three level. This is a letter that was sent out to, I think, coaches and even others that if, in fact, when the president got up to help present the diplomas and people started to boo him, read down at the bottom, respective sports programs may also have repercussions. These will include forfeiting games and or suspensions of the entire 2022-2023 season. Basically saying if there must not be any part of disruptions of this event for students, families, and friends. And make sure you tell that to your various teams. Otherwise, disciplinary sanctions, including all but limited diplomas and transcripts being held. So they booed, right? Did they throw garbage? Did they riot? Did they do anything? Roger Goodell gets up to the podium at the NFL draft, which is a party, every single year and has now for about a decade. I know he's been longer than that as a commissioner, knowing that he's going to be crucified every time okay. he comes to the podium. So all and they, he takes it and gives it back. So, so true or false, they just booed, right? Yeah, basically. So, that, or maybe he threw it out some... So she sent an email from an official account at the school yes. to student-athletes that said, if you exercise your, free, your First Amendment right to freedom of speech, we will punish you. Yes. Man, the NCAA just, I mean, the college administrators yep. just really have a grasp of that con constitution. There. It's a part of, you, you're getting up in their feelings, I Do guess. Do you realize who we're talking yeah. about? Who are the most emotional, fragile, brainwashing, egomaniacs in the world? College administrators. Yeah. Like, duh. Like, this Some is of a, them. Some of them, yeah. but yeah, a lot of them yeah. are. And so I'm not surprised, but I have no idea who this woman is or what she does or what her background is. But uh, her goal of just destroying Hartford Athletics is right on cue. I mean, I, I think, you know, whether or not she was there, their financial problems are what they are based on what I've read about it. I don't know if there's anybody that could come in and really save that program. You can't just, because we like John Gallagher, make them stay D1 if that means that they're losing money left and right. So I don't know all the particulars there. I mean, let's not act like Hartford's Michigan State. You know, I mean, that's not a program we've talked much about. We talked about them because they happened to play Baylor, and then we got to know John Gallagher a little bit. So if Hartford stopped playing athletics, I'm sure that segment of the country would feel it, but a lot of people would not even realize that it's happening. So if they're having problems like that and they can't sustain it, then you got to do what you got to do. But being the bad guy and trying to like punk people before graduation and tell them, you know, send them warnings about holding their transcripts and whatnot, that's garbage. That's just a garbage move. Yeah, I can understand if, you know, they went to graduation and there were a bunch of people doing that and then you say something after the fact. I don't know what premeditated this, but I, I just think that that's – really kind of a disrespectful in the way she really targets the athletes uh, and the coaches in her letter. So not sure the reasoning, but not sure she'll have to write too many letters to athletics in the future anyways. Yeah. Uh, and I hate that for John but, Gallagher, but. But they're also they're having financial problems and they're about to get sued again. Here's one of the questions. Uh, was there any booze at graduation? The response, Woodward barely spoke. He was never formally introduced. Shielded, question mark? The, former, uh, the format was kind of odd. There was a university head, director, David Gordon, applaud, uh, Fred, uh, applaud Fred for his retirement awards, guest speaker. No, we don't, uh, and so they, we really, don't know these they never really got to the president or introduced him as they should or they normally would at any ceremony at any particular higher institution of higher learning. Uh, I believe the president's a woman, is it not? Uh, I believe it is. You said he. Okay. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I thought that it was, but uh, regardless. No, it's President at Gregory Wood. Okay, yeah. so I'm thinking of maybe their athletic director is what I'm thinking of. I think it, she might, uh, it might be a woman. But regardless, yeah, I mean, there's clearly a lot of issues up there uh, that we're not totally familiar with. You know, John's laid out some of them. I feel for him. Uh, they had a great thing going a couple years ago, and since then they basically just plummeted. 
Um, they did not use that to their advantage in any way. If anything, they went backwards, and that actually hurt them going in and having success, which is odd, but that's how some in, uh, I guess, higher education see it. So, um, you know, best of luck to him and best of luck to those athletes at Hartford. But I, I think that's a stupid letter to have written. Yeah, and then there's a few other – there's a lot of different people. You can – on Twitter, if you do, go Hartford, boo – 